how do you become James Bond? It's simple. Step one, you appear in the Hobbit trilogy, earning worldwide recognition, and you're finally getting some presence out into the world. Step two, you follow us up with a BBC drama production, becoming a heartthrob across the whole world, so people start thinking, oh, I'd love to see him as James Bond. Step three, you carry on doing amazing work, though keeping low key throughout the years, so when the time comes for you to become James Bond, people only think of you as James Bond, not in other big franchises. This is why Aiden Turner should be James Bond. Like so many people out there, I discovered Aiden Turner through the Hobbit films and the Paul Dark TV show. I think he was absolutely brilliant in both of these movies and TV shows. He was just an incredible tutor for us. I absolutely loved him in these roles he did, either as a dwarf or as Ross Poldark. He just brought them to life, and he's just one of those, in my opinion, charismatic actors that is just he just steals the show and just captures your eyes and he steals anything he's in he's gone on to do other amazing work throughout the whole years but never something really big in comparison to those two things and i do wonder if that's intentional so when the time comes when he might become 007 people really just think of him more as 007 not as anything else I've often done on this channel other actors such as Henry Cavill or Tom Hiddleston why I think they should become 007 and I want to do the same here. I want to talk about Aiden Turner and I want to talk to you about the reasons why I think he would be an amazing actor to take over the role as James Bond now Daniel Craig's finished. But before we get into that everybody can I just ask you if you haven't already do give this video a like and a comment. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers for the end of the year so if you could help us it would be really really appreciated. But without that let's really dive into it right now and let's look at the reasons why I think Aim Turner should be James Bond. First reason in my opinion is he is the exact right age to take over the role as James Bond. Aim Turner is now in his first. He started to come into his 40s. The right sort of age that the Bond producers really look at when they're looking to cast their next James Bond. He is, he is just at that pinnacle of youthfulness at the same time, wisdom, and at that same age roughly when Bond was when he started his career in Cyril in the books. It is just, it seems almost fated that he is at this point in his career, at this point in his life. It is the perfect time for him to take over the role as James Bond. A similar comparison I have would be a couple of years ago when people thought that Daniel Craig was finishing Inspector. There was a lot of discussion at the time, like Tom Hardy or Idris Elba are going to become James Bond. Again, both at the right ages at that time. But obviously, Daniel Craig carried on to do No Time to Die. Aiden Turner is at that point in his life right now. And I think if he ever was going to become James Bond, now is the exact right time for him. The stars are in alignment for this possibility. My second reason would be, as I mentioned in my little opening sort of bit there, he is a well-known star, obviously appearing in the Hobbit trilogy, he's appeared as the lead in five seasons of the new version of BBC Poldark, which went worldwide, he's now currently in an Amazon show, Leonardo, so, you know, he has done other things like, um, and then there were none, which a lot of people saw that sort of three-part show and really started to see him in that role as James Bond. He has done a lot of work throughout the years and continues to work and continues to do great stuff. He's well known, but he's not too well known. One of the things we know that the Bomb producers look for when they come to picking a new 007 is someone who is potentially maybe well known, but it hasn't had that thing that makes him that true big megastar yet. They're looking to someone who Bond can make them a big megastar and be the face and well known and associated with the franchise. It was the same with most all the other actors who have played James Bond. Sean Connery had a few roles in the past, but Bond made him superstar. Pierce Brosnan was a well-known star of Remington Steel and stuff, but Bond made him a megastar. Roger Moore, again, even though he, you could say he was a megastar, Bond took him to that next level. And this could be the same thing here with Ain Turner. He's the exact sort of person the producers would look for in this situation. That up-and-coming rising star, that Bond can just give them that extra leap and be the new face of it. And I think that's another reason why Ain Turner would be potentially a good fit for James Bond because he is in that exact right position that everyone's looking for and people would love to see him become that sort of next level with James Bond. My next reason would be is he can really do, and certainly in this modern day and age, sensitive and sexy. Now the thing is, in this modern day and age, there is much more of sort of an emphasis of not being so sort of locked up, not really showing your emotions as much and learning it more be open in the air. Me personally, I still keep a lot of my sort of things, emotions sort of locked in, but I do reveal it a bit. But what's great about 
in Turner is he really could be the emphasis and the body image and the presence of that modern day sort of manlyhood perception when it comes to Bond of being, if you will, tough and sexy and dangerous, but also having that real sensitive side. This started off at the beginning of Timothy Dalton's era where we tried to show Bond's more sort of human, more emotional side and it continued in the Pierce Brosnan era and it continued again and went, if you will, full hog in Daniel Craig's era. And then if in Turner was to become the next James Bond, I can see him carrying on with that and tackling it again a way that none of the other actors have done before in the past. Ain Tun is very good at sort of having his emotions show physically, then really being said out loud and really playing a massive part in his acting skills. He really has portrayed in his past a variety of different roles which have inquired him to a multitude of different emotions and ranges and styles and feelings when it comes to that. And he's so good at it without it being either so poppery or really weird or anything like that. And I just really love the idea that someone with that acting skills could take over the role as James Bond. I think he, what he could, he could really epitomize the modern day version of pure manlyhood while also being hardcore, dangerous and ruthless at the same time. So that's something I think as well that really could work in his favor. My next reason is pure and simple. He is a real physical actor. Sometimes a lot of actors really do a lot more with their words and their sort of how they pronounce things or how they say things, but Aim Turn is a real physical actor. He really puts his whole body into his performance, into his actions, into how he moves his head or his body, how he basically positions himself in all his role. And that's something I really enjoy as a viewer watching an actor, is how they, someone can put their whole body into a performance. It really is quite something. If you look at the variety of different roles he has in the past, how he changes his demeanor when it comes to different roles he's playing, it really is a tour de force. There's a considerable difference between, say, how he plays the fun, happy, go lucky feeling in The Hobbit to the more dark and sort of brooding and sort of more very much a man sort of on a mission, Ross Poldark. If you notice the difference in there, just how he plays it, it is really incredible. And I would love to see someone who is so much of a physical actor take on James Bond. I can't help but wonder how would Aiden Turner do it? Would he be like really sort of driven hardcore? Would he be very much laid back like it was in, and then there were none? I really just love the potential of seeing what he could bring to that from that perspective alone. The last reason I have really for I think Aiden Turner should be the next James Bond is just if you look everyone at his amazing body of work, you can just see nothing but glorious standing ovations and reviews. This man is clearly an incredible actor. I don't think to this point I found a bad review of him or something he's been in that's had bad reviews without saying, you know, yes, there's something my bad, but oh my God, Aim Teller's amazing. Again, one of the things that we are looking for so highly in our next actor to play James Bond is a top quality actor, someone who can really take the franchise. And if you just go by the evidence alone, looking at his past work, look at what he's done. And Aim Turner is one hell of an incredible actor and we want someone like that to be our next James Bond. You want someone with that acting calibre who can combine all the other things I mentioned earlier and really give us some sort of new interpretation of James Bond. Well there you go everyone, that is my reasons why I think Aim Turner could be, in my opinion, one of the most amazing and potential future James Bonds that we have. But I want to know everyone, what are your thoughts about this? Do you like the idea of Aim Turner becoming James Bond? Do you not like the idea? I want to know. Comment down below and tell me what you think about this whole idea. As always everyone, my name is Henry Stevens and this has been The Bond Geek. Goodbye.